Uh, we got more people coming in. Abraham, uh, Karen. All right, Karen's actually one of our clients. How's it going, Karen? You're muted right now, but Karen, if you could tell them about your results uh, from yesterday's trade, I know for a fact she, uh, outside of probably uh, being addicted to looking at the Weather Channel, she's over in Florida. I know she's been doing well. Karen, you there? I'm here, yeah, sorry, I can't stay too long today. I was just checking in real quickly, that's all. Oh, no problem. Well, hey, this is uh, mostly people who have not joined the program yet. If you don't mind, would you uh, care to tell them your experience so far? Uh, well, so far, I'm pretty pleased with uh, what I'm seeing. Um, you know, it's a matter of just, uh, uh, you know, taking what, I, what I've already been doing and, um, you know, taking a little bit of time slowly to understand your, um, your methodology, which is a lot of protection, which is great. Um, and we all need that after all these years to try to hang on to what we've earned. Um, and then, um, you know, making a little bit incre incremental income. Uh, so that this way, um, you know, we can have a little bit of confidence going forward. It's uh, slow and steady wins the race, as they say. And um, uh, so I'm slowly but surely adding to my positions. I've been working on the SPY mostly. I've been observing the Facebook, and I know you're getting ready to transition on that one soon. So I'm kind of like, uh, you know, looking at that one and, and uh, <clears throat> waiting to step into that. Um, you know, the TLT has, has been very interesting to watch that. Yeah, um, did you take uh, the TLT trade or are you just doing uh, the SPY right now? Uh, just the SPY and I was about to do it today, but I, I've gotten myself, um, uh, 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 I've gotten some, that's why I can't, I can't stay too long because I, I really wanted to, to look at that carefully. I saw what you did from last week and I said, Doc on it, I wish I had jumped in last week. <laughs> Karen, uh, you have a question from the audience. Pramod Gupta asks, are you affiliated with Portfolio Builder? <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> okay, y'all, stop laughing in the background there. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, but I think I'm the only, I don't know, so far, I think I'm the only woman that's been chiming in at all. But that's me. I mean, I was a numbers person from years ago, and I've always been fascinated by the markets. But, you know. You got you to gotta really uh, take the time to understand a little bit, but I think with your program, you need a little less time to understand because you've really got it down pat. So I'm, um, I'm pretty comfortable and, and I'm, you know, transitioning slowly but surely. As a matter of fact, one of my other guys, friends of mine who turned me on to you, I, I think, well, I shouldn't tell you, but maybe he's already called Dean. I'm not sure, but I think he's going to be uh, stepping up to being a lifer here pretty soon. And um, I probably will too. So it's just, you know, it, 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 you know, it takes a little time to transition off of one thing into something else, but I think it's worth it. Um, I, th I see really good longevity with what you're doing and stability, and that's a very, very comfortable feeling. Nice. So, yeah, just so everybody knows, normally this is our freebie webinar. It's hard for, our, uh, for Zoom. That's the platform that we're using to host this webinar. For whatever reason, it's really hard to, uh, to move people off of the free webinar. So Karen joins us on our paid webinar on Wednesday, and I love having her on uh, today's webinar. This was a completely unsolicited visit from, uh, from Surprise! <laughs> so uh, we definitely uh, thank you for coming on and uh, telling people your experience so far. For those of you who do decide to join today, on Wednesdays, we have a little more of an exclusive group. It's only people who have bought the program. So instead of talking about, hey, how does this work? We're more focused on, hey, what are we going to do if this or this happens? And so we were able to look at the big macro picture, try to dial down what are the key events we need to focus on that are going to change uh, the outlook for the future. And so if we can get the big picture right, it's been relatively easy to, to uh, use our strategy to safely generate income. Let's see, we now have 24 people live on the webinar. I've had a handful of you post in the chat. Can I try to get more of you guys to please go to the chat box uh, or unmute your microphone and just say hi so I know you uh, can communicate with us during the webinar today? Uh, and Pramod, thanks for posting in the chat. Really want to be interactive with you guys and get hands on. 
Uh, Pramod says the re percent return is it annual or year to date? Sure. So we'll, we'll jump into the details of the returns, Pramod. Our goal with this program is really not to, uh, we're not trying to outperform, uh, number one, any other advisory service out there. And number two, we're also not trying to outperform the return of the S&P 500 or any specific benchmark. This strategy is specifically designed to deliver a 1% to 2% return per month with extremely little risk. So it's actually a challenge for us to outperform anything because we have so much protection built into our trade alerts that at the end of the day, it makes it extremely difficult for us to have a losing period. But if we get the big picture right, we can consistently make uh, these small safe returns, which is what our audience really likes. And it's primarily people who are uh, going into the period of their life where they want to retire and they want to generate consistent income with a more strategic strategy that protects capital. So uh, here's our total return just to give you a feel uh, for what we have delivered to date, how we've been able to go from uh, zero members in December up to over 120 or so today. There's probably, I don't know this for a fact because I don't manage our accounts, but just with some of the clients I speak to, we have people in the million dollar mark uh, following these trades. I would estimate we have anywhere from 10 to $20 million following these alerts. And you'll see by the end of this webinar why our strategy makes so much sense if you're going into a period in your life where you want to protect what you've saved and aim for a safe one to two percent return per month. Uh, so let's see, we've now up to 24 people. I'll start the presentation in a minute. Let me just try to get a little more feedback out there. First of all, you have about maybe seven or eight of you who posted in the chat out of now 25 attendees. Can I try to get a few more of you guys to post in the chat? Let me know if you saw yesterday's trade alert on the SPY. And took it. I, I'm just curious how many of you missed out on yesterday's trade because uh, this is working out to be a very nice trade. If you've been following my content, I predicted both a big rally in stocks yesterday and Monday uh, and even last Friday. And then also we predicted last Thursday that we'd see a sell off in treasuries, which I uh, was cutting it close, but this morning we nailed it and had a, a nice win on the TLT play as well. Very comfortably uh, lining up as expected. Okay, William says hi. Welcome, William. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, Zoraida from Houston. I, I probably butchered your name. I really apologize. Thanks for saying hello. Anyone else out there want to say hello? Can you find that chat button? Uh, and Karen, hey, thank you very much for uh, for that uh, uh, really just honest feedback about the opinion. Truly appreciate that, Karen. And I uh, hope you stay safe. Hope your uh, your uh, investment property stays safe out there in Florida too. Uh, we're clear. Or hopefully you got some nice thank you. experience and it gets wrecked, huh? No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> You're in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got some more people coming in. Uh, Isaac, welcome. Okay, guys, uh, let's see, we have a few people. Uh, Bill, you have your, your mic unmuted. Can you say hello? And I see uh, Zoraida has his mic uh, unmuted. You want to say hello? Oh, he's got a little odd audio. Okay, we'll mute that up. All right, guys, no more delay. We'll get this show on the road here. Just wanted to give everybody plenty of time to get in here and have a chance. All right, Howard took the spy. So how much money, do you know how to calculate how much you're up so far, Howard? Uh, Robert from Willington, North Carolina. All right, so how's this? Are you uh, getting some, some storm up there? Okay, Howard has 200 shares of the SPY so far to start. He's just getting going. No problem. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. So as you've noticed, this is, this is probably a, a, a not a typical uh, setup you've seen in terms of how an advisory goes about marketing itself. Most companies, uh, they don't let you see what they're doing. You have to see some huge sales pitch. You have to pay money up front. And, and then you just, God, it works. Most of the time it doesn't, and companies like you refund rates. I was in the business of helping peddle their advisory services in the last decade, and I had a few important uh, things I noticed. Number one was that the people who follow the trade alerts uh, had a very low chance of actually getting the results of the advisory. And there's a whole lot of reasons. Uh, but a lot of it had to do with trading very illiquid products, small cap stocks, crazy option strategies. Uh, so they just weren't able to get the same fill price, number one. Two, it was very difficult to predict when the trade alerts would come out. So you're in a situation uh, where you're essentially, uh, you have no idea when a trade's gonna come out. You might miss one trade, you may get another trade. By the time they're buying and then selling, you're now underwater in a loss. Uh, the bad trades, they tend to sweep under the rug and just pretend they never issued them. They're not giving you a position size. It makes it very difficult to follow most products out there. And they also have this mindset that they want to outperform the market. And so uh, for most of the people I actually got to speak to one-on-one, -on -one, they had no reason to be so aggressive with their strategies and it ends up resulting in big losses. So our program decided, all right, let's try to flip this all around. Let's make these people's life really easy. And instead of trying to beat the market, let's try to tame the market down and turn it into a consistent income machine. And so at the end of the day, what we have done is simplified your total strategy to build an all-weatherproof portfolio that will do just great in a U.S.-China trade war. It'll do just great if we ever enter into a new recession, and it will do just great if you only had these three ETFs for the rest of your life. And so these three ETFs are the SPY ETF, which we trade Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon Eastern, the trade alert is very quick. My father says it takes him less time to take out the trash than it does for him to put on this trade. And I'll show you the trade we just gave out yesterday. That's up very nicely today. So you can see exactly what's involved. That's how we get exposure to the US equity stock market. One share of the SPY gives you exposure to 504 of the top companies in America. I don't care what US equities you own, you're better off owning the SPY if you're trying to go into retirement, preserve capital, and generate income. And there's one more thing about the SPY ETF that has a huge advantage over other securities. And that's the fact that it has three option expirations a week. This allows us to sell call options every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and use those call options to generate income plus finance purchasing downside protection. So if you're owning a basket of equities right now and you don't have any put options below it, watch out. Even though I called for the stock market to rally this week and most likely all the way through October, I'm expecting the U.S. trade war to break down and cause some serious volatility in the equities market. So that's why we always have a put option underneath our equities, which again, it, it makes it harder to generate the profits that we do generate but it makes it also very hard for us to have a losing period because we always have downside protection. Now on Tuesdays, we have a more aggressive equities play. And this picks a specific stock that I think has the best potential for that week. And once again, we still own a put option below and we still sell a call option above. What that does is it limits our upside profit but it also protects us from the downside. Uh, Pramod has a question. Are you talking about selling covered call or credit spread on SPY? Now, we always do the covered call. We never do the credit spread. 
and we'll talk about why. The, the advantage we have revolves around us having the capital to be able to buy 100 shares of the SPY. So that's what really separates us from the crowd, is that we do have a good amount of capital to put to work. And so I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but to start off, it's important to know that you're only going to have to manage really three ETFs if you choose. Let's look at the next slide. This is the, the strategy that makes the most sense for most people joining our program, is to just skip the Tuesday trade. Tuesday trade has its advantages, and we'll go over that in a bit. But this is really all you need for the rest of your life to have an all weatherproof portfolio that can generate consistent income. And we'll talk about how to make money regardless of the direction of the security. So you'll see we generated a nice profit today on the TLT by optimizing our options contracts to profit if the TLT went down. And we did this at the same time as predicting the SPY ETF would rally up. And so I'll show you in a moment our last two trades on the SPY and the TLT. And you can see how we have a very safe setup that can generate consistent income without risking a lot of money. And so if this is all you had in your portfolio, you're going to have 504 U.S. companies in your equities basket extremely diversified. You're going to have call options generating consistent income every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The trade happens at noon Eastern. We do not touch these positions for any reason under the sun outside of those trading periods and times. So you know for a fact, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon Eastern, you show up, you do the two minute trade, and then that's it. You're going to have a sleep like a baby, trade setup that I call atomic bomb proof. Literally, atomic bombs could start going off, the S&P 500 could crash 50%, and it would not make a difference to us because we have such a strong defensive setup with a put option below our asset. So if you have a big basket of random stocks, and you're hoping that a US-China trade war is gonna be resolved and you can just hold these uh, into retirement, I don't think that's going to happen. I really think we have another month of upside and then look out below. So we'll talk about how to use our options to actually generate profits in either direction in a minute. Uh, but that's really where most of you should be dumping all your equities, consolidate into blocks of 100 shares of the SPY, and then start following our trade alerts Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And what you're going to see is we're going to generate consistent income from selling call options. But in the same breath, we're never going to have a huge risk to the downside because we always own a put option. Now, on the other side of the coin is the bond market. It's very important that you have a smart diversification of stocks to bonds going into retirement. And the TLT ETF makes it very easy for you to own the long end of the bond market. So these are 20 plus year treasuries and we're doing the same strategy. We're buying the TLT in blocks of 100, we're selling the call options for consistent income, and we're purchasing downside protection with puts. Now the TLT is representing the tax receipts of all of America. So it's also an extremely diversified product, even though it looks like you just own one security. So by just owning those two simple securities, uh, it makes for a very, very defensive but diversified portfolio when you couple it with the options. Now, if you just bought these outright, you know, it's quite a gamble. We would need the uh, U.S. China trade war to find a resolution for this really to pay off in the long run. Uh, but our strategy does not revolve around getting lucky with trade deals happening or anything of that nature. So we'll take a better look at that. The last ETF I want to cover before we jump into some recent trades is the ETF GDX. So 
if we know that the central banks are lowering interest rates around the world, just last month, 30 countries lowered rates. If we know that China is devaluing their currency, which is causing all of its trading partners to devalue their currency, which makes their debt, all denominated in dollars, more expensive to pay off. Well, this is all pushing towards foreign markets printing money at a faster pace than ever before in history. That's why we like gold. So GDX is the gold miner ETF. That single ETF gives you exposure to the top 30 mining companies all around the world. It is a heck of an ETF. And as long as the outlook is that the central banks have to print money, this is a position we want to hold. So you can see we're about half equities, half bonds. Yeah, Howard says, do we buy GDX without any put protection? Yes. So the bulk of our portfolio, 90% is split between the equities on the SPY and the TLT for the bonds. Those large positions we protect with put options below, sell call options above. The buy and hold portfolio, we do not sell call options or buy put options. And so the result is we wanna have less capital at risk but be able to get bigger gains. And let's just take a quick look at how well uh, that buy and hold portfolio has performed. Uh, and you can see it has big swings. It's up 87% year to date. Uh, and this is actually after diluting it significantly. As we've seen the central banks move in the same direction, which is lowering rates, printing more money, flooding their currencies, diluting the value of their currency. We know what that does to the value of gold. It makes it go up. And so... Uh, as this picture has become more clear, as it's become <clears throat> obvious that the Chinese are not going to do a trade deal, we know this trend will most likely continue for a considerable amount of time. So over the course of the year, as this picture has become more and more clear, we've been uh, recommending a bigger and bigger position to buy and hold the gold portfolio. So yes, that is a buy and hold. This is the only part of the portfolio where we do not protect to the downside uh, because we're expecting a massive rally in this portfolio. Okay, so let's- Great see. question, Howard. Yeah, good question. Uh, Marquez, you have your hand raised. Do you have questions? No, Howard, it's not too late. Actually, today GDX is down 5%. Uh, this will be a great month to get your position in on GDX because what's coming up, we're going to have most likely the ECB. They're saying they're going to unleash a bazooka of stimulus, whatever that means. Uh, and they just hired <laughs> Dean Lagarde to take over, who's one of the most infamous money printers of all time. Plus, we have our Fed coming out September 18th, most likely dropping rates aggressively. So the outlook for gold is better than ever. Uh, and we'll talk about what would change my mindset on that. But yeah, this is what we call a weatherproof portfolio because no matter what happens, one of our assets will typically perform while the other does not. Now, there are some cases where I expect all three of these assets to appreciate all on their own. Uh, and we'll get into that in a minute. But this is all you really need to know to follow our program. We're going to have you trading the SPY Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon Eastern. It's a quick three-minute trade. We're going to have you trading the TLT on Thursday. That's the bond market. And then we're going to be giving you instructions for a buy and hold portfolio that currently represents 10% of your capital. That buy and hold portfolio has had huge gains, but again, it's not a big piece of the portfolio. Currently, it's only 10%. So before I jump into some of our most recent trades, let's take a quick break and see if we have any questions from the crowd. And uh, if you don't mind, post what your biggest position is in the live chat. Uh, what is your largest position in the equities market right now? Uh, 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 
Looks like we got a little bit of a shy crowd today. No problem. Um, I do want to point out though, if you only own a handful of specific stocks and they're not at the top of the largest market caps in the world, you probably have too much risk in your portfolio, uh, given the fact that most likely the US-China trade war is going to break down in talks again, like it has every other time in October. So, uh, all right, let's jump into some recent trailers so we can show you how easy it is to follow these alerts. So yesterday we gave this trade alert on the SPY. So here's your typical trade alert. Step one, we're gonna get you out of the previous week's trade alert. Uh, so we did have a winner from, uh, from the Friday alert. Monday was the market holiday, so we didn't have a trade alert Monday, but we were predicting since last Friday that most likely the SPY would travel higher based on the big macro view. And I'll, I'll give you guys a look at the macro view towards the end of the webinar. But sure enough, the SPY started rallying uh, so we had to buy to close the call option and the put option we bought was worth a penny. So we couldn't close that out. So that's how we got out of the last trade. Immediately, we roll into the next position. So the trade alert from yesterday was to sell. Now let's look at what the price was. When I entered this trade, the SPY was worth 293.29. And because we thought the SPY was going to travel higher, we did what I call a loose collar option. This is a trade that's designed to make a much larger profit than we could ever get from selling call options outright. Now, when the price of the SPY gets more and more expensive, I will try to make more profit from selling call options and less from expecting the asset to appreciate. In this case, I was very sure that the SPY was set up to jump towards new highs throughout the month of September, and it's happening faster than I thought. So we had sold the 296 call for a credit of 35 cents. This meant we're agreeing to sell our 100 shares of the SPY to the option contract buyer for a price tag of 296. And this is when the SPY was only worth 293.29. So that's a big profit. We get to keep the 35 cents if he exercises his right. Plus we get this uh, 2.96 a share. So that's about $3 profit per share of SPY we could potentially make maximum with this trade. Now on the other side of the, the coin, we had purchased the 2.90 put. So if I was completely wrong and who knows, maybe, China decided to ban Apple, like we did Huawei. Maybe they decided to start dumping US treasuries. Maybe Trump decides to put the sanctions on Huawei faster than expected, increase the tariffs, who knows? But if the spy had tanked for any reason under the sun, the worst case scenario for us was that we would get paid out $290 a share. So if we look at the risk chart, we had a maximum risk of $3.51 a share. So it's just a little over 1%. And we had the potential to make a maximum profit after losing the value of our insurance of $2.48. And to achieve that, we needed the SPY to travel above 296. Well, today we hit a big win. And of course, it's not time to close this position out yet. Uh, but let's just look at what happened with the SPY today. So it's one of those days where we missed out on some of the gains. And this has actually uh, been happening to us all the time. It's not a big deal. So the second we went above 296, we hit our maximum profit on this trade. And we just have to be fine with that because on the other side of the coin, if the, if the move had gone against us, we had downside protection. So we're giving up some of the potential profits to have consistent income and downside protection. And this trade alert worked out very well. So 
most likely tomorrow we'll still be trading above 296 and we're going to walk away with $250 profit per 100 shares of the spine. And then guess what? We'll do the trade all over again. Now let's take a look at our TLT trade most recently. And so again, this will be closed out tomorrow at noon Eastern. Here was today's trade alert, trading the TLT. And this one had me a little nervous. The typical flow is that when the SPY goes up, the TLT goes down. And that's why it's such a smart strategy to have an equal weighting in the SPY versus the TLT. One goes up, the other goes down, the other goes down, the other goes up. In tandem, they're both going up together. But when you combine it, it makes it extremely hard to have a losing period. Anyway, last Thursday we were predicting exactly what happened this week would happen. And that meant the TLT should have a pullback. And we've been bullish on the TLT all year, giving up plenty of profits uh, by selling the call option because this has been one heck of a move on the U.S. Treasury TLT ETF. The first time we put a downward bet on the TLT was last Thursday. And let's take a look at how that trade panned out. So what we're going to do now is look at trade alert from last Thursday through this Thursday. And actually, the previous week, we had an even bigger profit. We've been buying call options on gold and betting up on TLT. Previous week, we made $1.94 a share. And I said, all right, this is getting completely crazy. Uh, <laughs> the TLT had just spiked up another uh, $8 just in that last short window of time. And so we finally decided to play uh, a reversal. We were expecting the SPY would go higher and TLT would at least slow down and probably sell off a little bit. So here was last week's trade. And I want you to notice it's a little different than our typical setup. So in this trade alert, we sold the 145.50 call option on the TLT, but you can see it was already at 146.38. So we're agreeing off the bat to sell our shares of the TLT for 145.50 but they're worth 146.38. So why would we agree to do that? Because the call option buyer was willing to pay $1.68. So we're losing about 80 cents on the sale of the TLT, but we're gaining $1.68 on the option contract. Now what happens to the value of a call option if the asset goes down? The call option loses value. So you can see what we did. We, we sold an in the money call option for a big $1.68 credit, but then we used that to buy a very valuable in the money put option. We bought the 149.50 put. So if we look at what happened, we essentially paid $2 to get into this trade. And that's when the TLT was trading at 146.36. So let's see what happened between last Thursday and today when we got out of that trade. And this is actually the one I had lots of clients texting me, uh, thanking me for this trade alert. Okay, so hey. here's how we got out of that trade this morning. Hey, Jason, I haven't thanked you yet either. Thank you. I appreciate it, bud. <laughs> yeah. So Dean's actually, uh, sometimes he takes the trading ideas and then soups it up for a younger guy. And, makes huge gains on the, the trading ideas. So he's been killing it uh, just by looking at the directions. Well, it's funny because I got into TLT two weeks ago. It, it boomed up. You know, and I was like, okay, well, this is crazy. You know, I'm making money in bonds. I'm 34 years old. I, I never thought I was going to say that. Uh, and then, <laughs> you know, put on the, on the short position uh, from Thursday to today and it was just shocked that yeah. uh, you know, nice. made money when it went down and, you know, all the other portfolios are going up. It's a great job, man. You absolutely nailed that trade. Excellent. Good to hear. So, all right, guys, let me teach you how to do the accounting on this because you need to be able to audit these results yourself and track your own returns, obviously. Uh, it's hard to argue with screenshots, but 
Nothing beats doing your own audit. All right, so let's look. This is last Thursday. TLT is trading 146.36. Last trading price is right here. We can all see that. We go to today. You can see the last trading price has decreased. The TLT went down in value. Again, we expected the SPY to go up. The natural reaction is the TLT goes down. Now, we have seen them both flying up all year, and we'll talk about why, but we can see the TLT dropped in value to 144.74. So if we were just long the TLT, we would have lost money, but that's not what we were doing. Let's look at what happened to the option contracts. So we paid a debit. Look in the bottom right corner. We paid $2 a share or $200 a contract. For every 100 shares of the TLT, one contract to enter into this trade. To get out today, we were paid a credit of $4.39. So look at that down in the bottom. And for all of you watching, this is all you need to know to follow the trades. You're always going to sell a call option and buy a put. That's how we enter the trade to get out. We do the opposite. We buy to close and then we sell to close. So if that's all you have to learn, that's really it. This is the entire setup, every single trade. Now to really understand which strike makes the most sense, that's something our boot camp that we're putting together would really help you, uh, you know, be able to design your own trades. But in terms of being able to follow these, it is that simple. Uh, Pramod, I highly recommend you set up an account at Interactive Brokers. They have by far the cheapest prices, the most liquidity, great support line. It's a dollar a trade. Uh, so I would definitely recommend that. Yeah, Karen, we're going to put together a boot camp. Uh, I'll get you some details on that. It's going to be a 16 week boot camp, two hour webinars, uh, followed by an in person live trading experience. So it's going to go very slow. If you thought, I don't know if you guys ever had a tennis lesson, uh, we're not going to be trying to make you some kind of options uh, whiz kit. Rather, we're going to try to make you extremely good at following our specific strategy and understanding exactly how these trades work. For now, the point of this webinar, and for most people who follow the advisory, you just don't care. As long as you can take the trade and get in and out, that's all you need to get started. Get 100 shares of the TLT, get 100 shares of the SPY, start going through the motions and generating income so you get the confidence. But again, sell to open the call, buy to open the put. That's how we enter every single trade 100% of the time. Step two, this is exactly how you will get out of every single trade. You buy to close your call and you sell to close your put. So we can see even though the TLT lost value, the option contracts went up. And when we exited the trade, we were paid $4.39 per share or $439 a contract. So let's just see the math. And again, I make this really easy for you. The top of every email does the math for you so that you know exactly how to audit this yourself. TLT went from 145.50 down to 144.74 for a loss of $1.22. On the other hand, our option caller went from a loss of $2. We had to pay a debit to enter the trade, but we exited with a $4.39 profit. How are you? Good. Let's see, we got some. I don't even know where that audio is coming from. Sorry. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. Come here. Let me just get that uh, sound out. If anybody wants to chat, we have some new people. Welcome. I'm just going to welcome everybody in who just joined. Um, Tom Sharp. I think Tom's a member. He probably could. Give us a little live testimonial if he's out there. Yeah. Uh, well, welcome to everybody new to join. Tom, you out there? Yeah. How's it going, Tom? You've been taking any of these trades? 
Yeah, I've been taking most of um, the TLT and the SPY. I uh, haven't done it, anything yet on the other ones, but I'm learning and it, um, I'm pretty excited about it. Nice. So did you, uh, let me just ask you this. Did you make money on the last TLT and SPY trade? Yes. All right. So yeah. again, guys, we're not going to make you rich on any given trade. We're talking about pulling, you know, a hundred bucks consistently over and over and over again to generate income. Kate has a great question. How did you get 4,699? Okay. So, this portfolio is our Thursday portfolio. And, oh, Karen forgot to talk about her gains on GDX. So, no, no worries, Karen. Uh, I don't even like to brag about that portfolio because the returns are so absurd uh, that most people don't believe it or think it's possible. But I believe the gold rally is just getting started. So, for those of you who really want to know if I think you should get your GDX shares, I'm expecting maybe a little drawdown this month and then a huge rally as long as this trade war uh, continues. And this trade war could continue for not months, not years. We're talking decades. This is a huge battle that cannot be fought uh, quickly. If you go back to the, the Cold War, it took several decades. It took multiple presidents to win the Cold War against Russia. And they were a tiny, tiny GDP relative to, to China. Uh, and all the ways that we are integrated with China is absolutely insane. So this breakup could get very nasty. It could cause the central banks to potentially double the money supply. Uh, that's what we just did in the last 10 years. It may happen again in the next 10 to try to fight off this, uh, this breakup between US and China. So gold's a great portfolio to hold. GDX makes your life simple. For people that do join our boot camp, I am planning to have a little more, you know, instead of being lazy and owning the ETF, I'll show you how to rebuild the ETF, but super optimized. <laughs> but yeah, we like our ETFs. It makes life easy. Uh, okay, so. What that means by it. <laughs> what's that, Heaven? Oh, I think he's okay. Um, all right. So, uh, some new people in Steven S Blair. Okay. Just, uh, if you just joined, welcome guys. So again, here's, here's our trade. This is how we generated a dollar 27. Now guys, I don't want to be betting down on the TLT very often. Um, if we look at the big picture, the big picture is that the foreign, Currencies are all being forced to devalue. Uh, Frank asks, is the boot camp free? No, the boot camp is going to be a very intensive six week program. Uh, that, and we got another question from Rakesh $1.27 or $1.17. Um, did I do my math wrong? Let's see, we got. 239 so yeah 217 my apologies on that good catch now i i did actually uh cheat myself this was a little bit lower so this loss was a little bit lower uh, if we do go back to the screenshot uh, so is that 146.36 so there we go now we can Put that 14 cents back on there. <laughs> uh, so we're talking, you know, a few dollars off on that. Um, now it is important to note that this is quite a production we put together. The goal of the program is to simplify your life, to make your investment strategy so simple that you've reduced your total security holdings down to three ETFs. Imagine that three ETFs for the rest of your life. Now, the next thing is I'm trying to get you extremely accurate prices. So it takes a whole team of people to publish this content. What happens is about an hour before the production is going to be released to you, we start building out this Word document. Right before we're going to release it, I take screenshots of everything, 
This is the spreadsheet, which again, you're gonna get your own spreadsheet. It's optional. If you wanna use the spreadsheet, you can use it. If you don't, you don't have to. Most people don't. We take the screenshots. These are taken minutes before delivery. I quickly calculate the P&L from the trading period. Then we release this to you via text message, via email, and then we go live stream. Every day I have a collection of the most important pieces of news and charts related to what's going on in our portfolio. So this is all the big macro news. So immediately after the trade alert's been designed and released, you guys are getting very fresh quotes because it was taken minutes before release. Plus you're getting access to me live from a live stream YouTube. Now in the live stream, I don't reveal that current trade alert, but if you have a question, you can post it in the chat box. I can help you get filled. Sometimes the prices are moving a little bit, but again, this is the TLT and the SPY. So these are the most highly traded securities in the world. This means you get very tight fills with tiny, tiny spreads. Uh, Marquez says he's gotta go but he likes the presentation. No worries, and you will get a replay this weekend of this whole presentation. Uh, let me see, Dean. And, uh, oh, uh, call me too. Uh, my number is 505-322-7515. And if you guys wanna just write that down, put it next to your computer or uh, save it in your cell phone, uh, you guys can always call me at any time. I love to talk about the markets and uh, love to help our investors get defensive, conservative. Um, and uh, you know, just make small, consistent gains and protect all of your capital as, as much as humanly possible. So please feel free to call at any time. Okay, so Kate has a question. How did we get the 4,699? Okay, so again, that's because we had 3,700 shares. So uh, this is all designed around a relatively large portfolio. Actually, quite a lot of our clients have accounts this size. So this is designed on a $1.4 million portfolio. It started off at 1.25, so it's up $213,000 in the last 12 months, or nine months, that is. And so it is based on a bigger portfolio. From your point of view, Kate, if you were following the trade, what you made was $1.21 a share times how many of her shares you're following. So if you have 100 shares of the TLT, you made $121. And so, you know, how much does that add up to in a year? Well, if we know there's 52 trading periods for the TLT, that adds up to $6,292 in a year, just with 100 shares of the TLT. You got 200 shares of the TLT, that adds up to twice that. So it's all relative to how much capital you put to work. What we're doing is helping you make the right decision with what securities should you own? How do we build a portfolio that's weatherproof, that can survive a US-China trade war, that has excellent downside protection and diversification, but is designed specifically to generate retirement income? So to do that, you can't make all investors happy. It's just not possible. If I wanted this portfolio to be a growth strategy, we would have much higher returns because our, our trading ideas have been extremely accurate. We've been able to predict the direction, but we're reducing the profits. We're giving up a lot of the profits. Oh, hold on, Dean had his hand right. Do you got your audio now, Dean? I uh, got my internet connection fixed. Oh, wait, there we go. So this strategy is completely about protecting your capital, giving up half the profits every period, not worrying about it, because what we're more concerned about is not having a bad month. The worst month we've had was in July. It was Dean's wedding out in Hawaii. And since June, if you've been following my content, I have been calling for trade war escalation. I was very worried. Well, I'm out there sipping on pina coladas on the beach in Hawaii, or no, it was Thai Mao's, huh, Dean? Uh, I was worried Trump was going to surprise us all, 4th of July surprise, tariffs are back on. Well, I was a month early. Come August, guess what he did? He 
escalated the trade war. And that just happens to be our most profitable uh, month ever was just in the last 30 days. Uh, Pramod says, did you start in December of 2018? Yes, sir. We sure did. Now, we've been in this business for quite some time. My job over the last decade has been representing uh, pretty much every... <laughs> Karen says, Jason's been blaming for you a while now, dude. Oh, yeah. It was, it was, Hawaii, the time zone is terrible for trying to trade because you've got to wake up at 5 o'clock. Yeah, our only losing month was July, and I blame it all on Dean. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, Pramod, so my experience in this business has actually been, uh, for the last decade, started in 2008, the bottom of the crash. I've represented every big name out there from a company called Market Authority. It grew massive in size. We sold tens of millions of dollars of subscriptions. And what I learned was terrible. It was terrible. Nobody, very few people were getting the results of these advisory services. And whether you want to blame it on the customer or you want to blame it on the so-called guru, it really doesn't matter. Nobody was getting the results that were advertised. Okay, so I came in and said, I know how to fix this. And with this program, it's extremely hard not to get the same results as me. And here's why. Number one, we're not trading illiquid stocks, penny stocks, some sector ETF, any of that crap. The SPY. SPY is the single most highly traded security in the world, bar none. You couldn't even add up the top three highest traded specific stocks and get anywhere near the trading volume of the SPY. It's now the biggest fund in the world, bigger than Ray Dalio's. It's outperformed everything. The SPY ETF is single-handedly putting the hedge fund business out of sight, out of business. More hedge funds closed last year than ever before in history because the SPY just kicks its ass. So we like the SPY. That's number one. Number two, I found that most advisory services not only wanted to take a little extra risk, they thought to provide value to the market that they would have to outperform the SPY. So there we go. We, we already know you can't outperform the SPY. 90% uh, of all hedge funds fail to do so. There's a handful that do. Stanley Drunken Miller's average 30% a year. But of course, he's going to charge you 30% of your profits and you have to have uh, probably 10, well, I don't think he even takes investors now. There's not many hedge funds that have ever outperformed the SPY. So I knew right off the bat, this is the first move all our clients need. Dump all your stocks by the SPY. Just by doing that, you're making a great decision. That's number one. Number two, I found that most of the people who do tend to buy these sort of products are way past the stage of growth. They're entering retirement age they need to protect capital. They need to stop being greedy. They need to start being smart. So that's why we sell the call option for consistent income and buy the put option to protect against nightmares. And guess what? Those put options, even though I've all year I had these millionaires following our trades, making money all year on the spy, and guess what they would guess what they would do? I call them the peanut gallery. They love to call in and bitch and moan about giving up some of the profit on the puts. <laughs> oh, man. And then guess what? Those puts saved their ass in August. We had some huge returns on our put options in August. Uh, let's look at the SPY return. So SPY has done very well for us, but we had a losing month in July. Let me zoom in on this. So here's been our SPY return. Boy, oh boy, they sure love to, to moan and complain about giving up some profits. Okay, so Pramod has a question. How is the performance of your holding the SPY, TLT, GDX shares combined? Are they also growing with time? 
so yeah, so here's our total return. So also, Pramod, every single trade alert has two things. One, it has a link to the spreadsheet we're looking at. Feel free to go to it. All the trades are, all the tabs are down here. So you can see all the trades throughout history. Plus, there's a link to a website where all of these are published to the public. So we wait to publish it until after. Uh, it's really too hard to follow so that we don't have people freeloading on us. Uh, but you can see these are, these are all, well, it's only the SPY and the TLT and uh, very liquid products. The trades are at the exact same time, the exact same date. So very easy to audit these returns. But yeah, here's your total return. Now, by optimizing the options, we're not trying to rely on the SPY or TLT growing. What we need to do is understand the macro environment we're in, what the major risks are ahead, and that allows us to design the options trades to generate safety and income, no matter what direction these are going. So, so I have uh, been almost completely bullish on the TLT all year. Thursday was the first time we dared to bet down on the TLT, and we got lucky. In fact, that trade wasn't winning until this morning. So it pulled a big gain today. We did a very similar trade on the TLT today. But my expectation is that the trade war will escalate sometime in October. And we're going to want to be long that TLT. And we're going to want to point our options to generate profits from the SPY selling off. So I'm expecting the SPY to fly towards what I call the danger zone. Let's pull up the chart of the SPY. So we're headed towards the danger zone, which is, in my opinion, going to, uh, to go much higher than many expect. I believe we will travel to most likely 310 to 315, maybe 320 range by some point in October. So that's a huge move to the upside. Now this is if the Fed gives the markets what it wants, either a 25 or 50 basis point cut. And that big date is just 13 days away. Most of the biggest moves in the SPY have been directly after FOMC meetings. And I think they are going to come in with a huge rate cut that will send equities much higher. And this is at a period of peace in the trade war. So this is a perfect setup for the SPY to head towards the danger zone. Once we're back in the danger zone, guess what's gonna happen? Trump is gonna feel brave and he knows the clock is ticking. If he wants to go to the 2020 election cycle and be able to brag that he got China to cave in and create a trade deal, he has to punish them now. If he waits too long, he might be going into the election cycle during a massive stock market crisis. So I'm expecting him to put on the heat sooner than later after we've gotten into the danger zone for equities. So the big picture is that China has been devaluing their currency, flooding their economy with printing money. In fact, it's just, it's crazy. What they've done in the last several years in terms of growing their monetary supply took America three decades. People don't realize that. Uh, and they continue to goose their economy with these huge infrastructure projects. They have so much housing they've built with no one living in it. It's insane. After they did that two times over, uh, they decided to start building out the Belt and Road Initiative, which is going bankrupt all over the place as we speak. Their banks are starting to go under. Uh, so the big picture is China is going to continue to devalue their currency. What does that force all of the trading partners in the area to do? Well, it's not fair. They have to lower the value of their currency. So if all of the emerging markets countries are all dropping the value of their currency and printing money, increasing the monetary supply, printing out 
trillions of negative yielding sovereign bonds per month. This is not just a slow developing story. The amount of negative yielding government debt is accelerating. It's not slowing down. So the big picture is the rest of the world is flooding itself with capital by printing money, while the US is being reasonably responsible with their monetary policy. And so the outlet, the only outlet to generate a profit is to buy the dollar, the US Treasury, and the US stock market. So I think we're about to see a huge rally in equities uh, followed by trade war escalation some point in October, maybe November. Uh, and then that's when we're probably going to see the next big sell-off in equities and big rally in the TLT. And so, so far, this is all playing out exactly how we uh, thought it. Now, if we get it wrong, we have put options below these assets. We're selling call options. So in general, it's very, very hard for us to lose in any given trading period. Now, if you do watch my daily live stream, I really go into great detail about why I think the markets are going to go a certain direction. Uh, but basically, by really simplifying our strategy to just hold these simple ETFs, our job to generate income is significantly simplified. We need to know what all the central banks are doing around the world. That's really the biggest indicator for the stock market. Are they printing money and lowering rates? If that's the case, and there's no major scare in the market, we can pretty much count on the equities market rallying. Okay, now on the other hand, if the central banks are tightening monetary policy and raising rates, well guess what, all of these assets are gonna crash. When's the last time they tried to do that? Oh yeah, 2018, when 98% of all assets lost value. Okay, they couldn't pull that off for very long. It was gonna crash the whole financial system. So by 2019, they all said, just kidding, we're not gonna raise interest rates. We're not gonna reduce the balance sheet. And now we're back to QE by 2020. So in general, I'm looking for all these assets to bubble up very rapidly as this continues to escalate. The only catch is when the US and China do more than just little, you know, when it turns from a cat fight into a dog fight, that's when equities take a big hit. And so uh, right now, there's just enough tension to make everything bubble up. So we'll see how aggressive the trade war gets. The more aggressive they get with one another, the better for the TLT and the GDX. If they just create small amounts of tension, it's causing all the other countries to devalue their currency, and it's just flowing all this money into US products. We can just be long all three of these in the current setup. Uh, Pramod says, what's the combined value? I believe the performance of your excellent service. Oh, thank you for the compliment. Yeah, so here's uh, the way to read our spreadsheet. So uh, here's my allocation breakdown. Top. Let me zoom in on that. Okay, so you can see total return, all strategies combined. Here's our total return. So nothing huge, you know, we're, again, we're not trying to deliver growth. We're trying to deliver absolute protection, consistent returns, passive investing. So sure, you do have to do a two minute trade a couple times a week, but you know exactly when, you know exactly the format, and you know exactly which security. All you really need me for is to tell you what strike, okay? Now, if you join our boot camp, I'm gonna teach you not only uh, how to do the trade, I'm gonna teach you how to understand what strike to pick. So if you wanted to design the trades yourself, you'd be able to do that. For most people, they don't care. They really don't care. They just want to be able to take the trade, get the payday, and enjoy their retirement. So if you scroll down, you can see the returns if you were to separate each track record. So here's the SPY. Here's the Tuesday trade, 
Now this has been rotating. Uh, the current plan I've been telling everyone, uh, <clears throat> Kate, I'll have Dean get a hold of you. We're still finalizing the boot camp. The way the boot camp's going to work is, uh, I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried the phone app Duolingo. It's brilliant. They developed this strategy with the CIA and they've used it to teach people language. And when I was studying that app, it was fascinating that the core of the strategy of the education was not trying to get you to learn a million words right at once. What it was really trying to do was pound over your head over and over and over again, the very, very basics. So what to expect in our boot camp is going to be pounding the basics through your head, through millions of examples, with you interacting with me to ensure that you really understand how these different securities work, how they relate to one another, and how to apply the options market uh, for our specific goal. And so it'll be a two hour webinar once a week with homework assignments for 16 weeks. That's really how long it will take to slowly but gradually turn you into the karate kid of options trading for retirement income. At the end of 16 weeks, you can fly out to Albuquerque, it's optional, and we'll trade together for two days, a Thursday and a Friday. So you get to trade the TLT and a SPY, and we'll have dinner and then send you back home. Now this boot camp is going to repeat itself every 16 weeks. So uh, you'll be able to take the boot camp an unlimited number of times until you're really confident you got, you got this down. So here's our equities portfolio separated for the Tuesday trade, big swings to the up and down side. It is designed to take on more risk, but when we get the market direction wrong, it's gonna have much bigger losses. And you can see it, even though it's only had a little bit extra loss in May and July, in December it lost 4%. Now uh, Karen wants to come see the balloon season. Yeah, yeah, Balloon Fiesta is coming up in a few weeks. It's beautiful if you guys haven't seen that yet. Uh, Barry Berman says, what do I think about TradeStation? I like TradeStation a lot. Just make sure you have a good deal. I guess if you call in, if you happen to be military, they will give you free commissions. Uh, one of our members has been talking about that. Um, so I like TradeStation. I like interactive brokers. Those are the two top. I like Ameritrade, you know, I used to do Thinkorswim. Um, so I've had other products in the past that were very popular. Uh, but again, it was, I was finding, I was teaching people how to make big gains with aggressive trades and then realizing they're going into retirement and had no business doing that. And that's what this product's all about. Let's make a strategy that really makes sense for where you are at in your life. Okay, now if we keep going down, we have our buy and hold metals portfolio. This one has even bigger swings. And note, we've had some big losses. So I'm more than happy to hang on to gold, even in a big sell-off, 10%, because I get the big picture. I know what's gonna happen. I know there's an unstoppable force of money printing about to occur that's gonna drive the value of gold up. And even if the central banks try to peg the price of gold or start dumping gold to try to suppress its price, we know if we hang on to this position and don't have too much of our total portfolio, it makes a lot of sense. So if I have 10% of my portfolio in gold and it goes down 12% in a month, my total portfolio has only lost 1.2%. More than happy to do that if I know there's potential returns ahead that are significant. And you can see we've had huge gains in this portfolio. And I don't spend a lot of time bragging about it because again, that's growth. That's a tiny part of the portfolio. Here's the bond portfolio all on its own. Funny enough, the only losing month was the month where the Fed actually pivoted. So they went from on December Pal goes up there. This is after a two and a half month crash in stocks. Now that was with yields really high. The treasuries were paying off an insane, I think it got up above 3%. And so money was just ditching the stock market. You know, why buy stocks if the Fed's really going to keep hiking rates? Um, and so finally, 
we got the Christmas massacre, the huge sell-off. We had the plunge protection team come in and save the day. And by February, the Fed went from, from literally saying we're on autopilot rate hikes, quantitative tightening, and we're nowhere near the neutral rate. That was his exact words. To February, comes out and says we're going to pause the rate hikes. We're going to probably end quantitative tightening sooner than we thought. And we're just below the neutral rate. What a joke. By July, so it's kind of funny. That's our one month we had a loss is when they actually did change directions on the uh, monetary policy. Uh, you got a question, Dean? I think you got your mic muted. <clears throat> so July, again, they started to pivot. They said it was an interest cycle adjustment, which the market did not like. But they got 25 basis points cut in July. August, they didn't even talk about this in the July meeting, but in August, they picked up $15 billion on a 10-year uh, treasury auction. I don't know why. They haven't talked about this. Maybe the auction was selling a little weak, so they stepped in there. They have not officially announced any kind of QE program. So uh, it's going to be interesting, to say the least, what comes out of their meeting in September. And then if you go a little lower, what you can see are the balances. This is how I calculate the returns. We have the starting balance and the ending balance of each period. And so we have this for each track record. Uh, and then if you, you know, if you want to get really, really anal, um, each tab, let me zoom out so you guys can see this. Each tab is right here. So just the overview, this purple area is where we track our buy and sell of the underlying asset. And again, you guys get a copy of your own spreadsheet, which I optimized the template. We actually spent quite a bit of money in 2018 building what I would call like a, a Tesla car factory, but we have that for building these spreadsheets. So every year or so, I will optimize the palette is what I call it. These are the potential ETFs we might use to, to paint the picture, to make money with the stock and bond market. And so right now it's very, very simple, uh, but let's say we had a 50% stock market crash. Well, I might tell you guys, all right, time to get out of the SPY. We want to go long a global portfolio. Here's your five ETFs. Now, I would love to do that. We're nowhere near that point in time. Uh, but again, we have a really neat engine where every new client who does join, we plop in their email. Google creates a spreadsheet that's unique for you and issues your spreadsheet. And so you have one tab for your SPY, one tab for your bond market. So here's the basket of bonds. This would be after <laughs> what's most likely going to happen, guys. The banks are going to print their, print their way uh, to inflation. Once we get inflation, they have to raise the rates. Until we get inflation, they're going to keep printing. That's just what they do. After we've dramatically hiked up the rates, that's most likely when we'll pivot uh, into a suppressed stock market where we might want to rotate into some of these stocks or ETFs. And then we might want to rotate out of the safe TLT. It's a little more aggressive portfolio of these. Uh, AGG, LQD, HYG, emerging market, uh, ETF, bond funds as well. Uh, the next is your SPY alternative tab. So again, uh, if I scroll over, you can see we have the stock buy and sell history in the purple. Here's where we sell options. Here's our history of selling options. And if you scroll over to this area, uh, this is where we buy our put options. So these are our long positions. Uh, so it's all very organized and categorized so you can easily see my history. Here's my total history in the buy and hold portfolio. And again, this was up more like 200%, but we've been adding deposits to it. Uh, so you can see we added 25,000 to this portfolio in June. And then we added 50,000 in August. And this is as it became clear that there is no trade war deal happening. Uh, and this is going to continue to escalate. The, the banks are going to print more and more money. That drives up the value. 
of our precious metals portfolio. Okay, Kate has a question. If we sell a naked put and it goes against us, we will be buying the teal. Now we don't sell puts, so that's a good question. Uh, we never sell puts, which is a much more advanced strategy where you better be ready to, to be very active. So we do the opposite. We buy puts and we sell calls. So the worst thing that ever happens in terms of option assignment is we end up in cash. That's what's beautiful about this program and why it's so passive. If something goes, if the option contract is exercised, you end up in cash. 100% of these trades, if you're ever exercised through the option contract, you're gonna end up in cash, which is fine. We don't mind owning the dollar. Dollar is strengthening uh, as all these other countries are sitting there printing money and devaluing their currency. So that's fine with us. It allows us to be very passive. Okay. So, so yeah, we want to own the asset, sell the call option and buy the put. That's, that's our combo for success, Kate. Now, could I optimize the strategy to, to sell put options? Sure, but I, it's a different strategy. It's much more active. We want passive, simple, easy, safe. And that's what, this, that's what this does. You own the asset, you sell call options for income, and you buy put options for protection. You have three ETFs to worry about. Your life is so simple and so easy. Now, can we spice in this up as things change? Sure, but I'm telling you, this exact setup is going to make you very happy for the next 12 to 36 months. That's how long I think this bubble has in it before it starts to pop. Once it does pop, and we have a stock market that's sold off 50%, and we have interest rates that have skyrocketed because of inflation, well, we will have cashed out our gold, and that's when we'll be able to, uh, to optimize for a different environment. Right now, we're in the middle of a bubble that's about to explode in terms of size. So you do not want to get caught on the wrong side of this bubble. Thanks for uh, joining us, Karen. We'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Any questions out there? Is anyone who would like to specifically have Dean call them right after this webinar to see if you're ready to join? or in general, any questions at all about the program or how it works? Hey, uh, investors, uh, this is Dean. Uh, one of the things I love to do uh, when, when I do speak with, uh, with our investors, our potential clients and our clients, is uh, go over your total portfolio one-on-one uh, -on -one and uh, see where you're, um, you know, and see where, <clears throat> see what in your portfolio is extremely risky uh, that you're wanting, you know, that you're going to want to get rid of. Okay. If you're over, uh, you know, if you're over 55 years old and you have anything that's uh, small cap, mid cap, large cap, anything that's not in the top, you know, 20 S and P 500 companies, you want to liquidate that. Okay. And a lot of times, you know, I've helped our customers uh, liquidate uh, really, you know, crappy companies, you know, companies that are competitors with Apple and Google and Facebook, just, I mean, they're going to eventually <laughs> get killed. Uh, you know, these companies have built such a huge moat around the castle uh, that they're, you know, pretty invincible. So, you know, if you're holding some, uh, you know, some micro cap or some small cap or some mid cap, even some large cap, um, you know, I want to get you out of that and, and get you safe honestly. Uh, and, and I, you know, I get uh, emails, calls and texts on a monthly basis, weekly basis, people thanking me of getting them out of crap uh, that was too risky and getting them into this program. So I'd love to go through that process with you and uh, see what, uh, you know, see what has too much risk for your, for your age and your portfolio. All right, any other questions uh, from anyone? Uh, please feel free, team. Uh, reach out if you have those questions, ask them now. Uh, 
you know, Jason and I uh, would love to, to help address uh, and help you understand anything that we're doing. Uh, I know we had some really good questions from uh, Howard, uh, Rakesh, uh, Karen. Uh, thank you all for, for those. But if anyone else out there has any questions, please feel free to ask. And, uh, you know, if, if you don't want to unmute, uh, just call me and we'll go over everything with you, okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much for your attendance today. We'll have another webinar next Thursday, same time. You have an unlimited pass to this webinar. Hopefully you found it valuable. Don't forget, we also provide a daily video that's live streamed on YouTube. If you make sure to join that, you can ask me questions live. If you're on an active free trial, you get to see the trades. Once you expire, we don't cut you off. We just don't give you the current trades. So you get to see the review of what happened on the previous trade and get to follow what's happening uh, with our general predictions. I know that Dean's done well following our exact trades, but he also takes the general idea that we provide for free on our public video. And he does more aggressive trades on those same directions. He's been killing it. So I think as long as you just follow the daily video, you'll see we're very accurate at predicting the big picture. And then if you apply our option trading strategies, you're going to do very, very well. Uh, uh, Pramod, on the daily email and text, you're going to see the YouTube channel. But let me post the link in the chat box so you can get uh, the channel to subscribe to as well. And it's called Portfolio Builder, but I'll get you a link so you can. I would highly recommend you actually subscribe to it and click the little bell. Let me show you what that looks like. And I do want to uh, get the disclaimer in there just for legal trading is risky. You can lose your investment. It's a model portfolio. However, a lot of our staff does follow the trades to avoid front running. They get the trades at the same time as you, no early delivery. Um, let me, okay, so on the bottom of the video on the YouTube channel, you hit subscribe and then click the little bell. That will automatically notify you of our daily live stream, uh, which is about an hour where I collect all the most important news, charts, put it together in a one hour presentation and then tell you what I think it all means and where, Essentially, I think the SPY is going to go and where I think TLT is going to go. And so I'll post that link. Let me get that for you. Here's today's video. Oh, there you go. So that's today's video. Click that. Go below. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell. You'll get our daily content. Any last questions before I close up today's webinar? All right, thank you so much for your time, guys. We will have a new trade alert on the SPY tomorrow. If all goes well, we've got about a $250 profit per contract, as long as we stay above uh, 296. Last we saw, let's see where we're closing out on the SPY as of exiting this webinar. We're at uh, 297.70 uh, right now. Joe. Dang it, we missed out on a $1.70 profit again. Just kidding. So yeah, as long as we're at <laughs> 296, we got our max profit that we were uh, set up to make on the previous trade. And Friday, tomorrow, we'll issue the next trade. So thank you all for your time. Really appreciate you. And hopefully we can get you to sign up and join our Wednesday webinar where it's completely members who've been following this got a lot of big money accounts have been following it for a long time you can talk to them chat to them and also instead of talking about you know what we've done in the past those webinars really focus on what we're going to do depending on what happens uh, with two key details one is what is the US Federal Reserve doing with interest rates and monetary policy and then two what we expect is going to happen with the U.S.-China trade war. All right, thank you guys. Until next time.